Hey everybody, you're watching tutorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create the flat logo in Gravit Designer without using the pen tool. So we are using the Snapseed logo, the photo app and let's get started with a new document. Alt N or Option N on your Mac. I'm gonna design on this canvas, website medium. You can use the drop down and choose website medium 1366 on 760. Eight. Click on this icon then to create a new document and to create a new canvas. Uh, also, I have my own with the colors. Okay, let's start with the polygon tool. I'm gonna grab the polygon tool and hold in shift. I'm gonna rotate it so it has the both apex and bottom points and I want to shrink it down. Now I want to create a duplicate and put it on the top. Hold Alt, Hold Shift or Option and Shift on your Mac and start um, moving your uh, design on 120. You see that Gravit carefully measured all of your moves. Uh, right now I want to select both of them and head over to the Boolean Shape Operators uh, and I'm using the Subtract here that subtract the top shape from the rear one. And uh, what we have is the compound shift. We need to convert it to compound pass. Control shift P or command shift P or use this icon here. Convert to pass. Control shift P, command shift P. Now I want to clean it up. So use D and delete these points on top. You see they are filled as a hollow. That means they are could be deleted. Or you see that my shape my shape uh, loses the uh, background color also you can then refill it again just like this okay let's uh, continue to work with this gray sh uh, chevron if you want to learn how to create the chevron icon you can follow the link on the description to create the chevron icon okay uh, now i want to use alt and shift or option and shift on the mark and stack three shape one on another uh, so i'm using the first one uh, again gravity designer helps me to do this first one and then ctrl d command d to repeat the separation again okay so um, i have the three shapes of the chevrons one upon each other and i want to recolor them one oh you see that i have some inconvenience here. I want to use the arrow keys uh, to change the position of the middle shape and top shape again. Then I want to use the second one for BD97F. First was 44AA69 is the bottom one and on the top 6DF252. Okay so far so good. Um, now I want to create the mask shape in order to do this i'm gonna grab the ellipse tool draw the ellipse and this ellipse should be something like this okay so for my shape uh, particularly i'm using 182 34 uh, 364 so one uh, the width of this ellipse is twice smaller than the height okay now i'm using the Ctrl Shift P, Command Shift P again to convert it to the path. Grab the subselect tool or click D and holding Shift keys, I want to select bottom and top point and uh, go to the appearance and set it to straight. Something like this. So we have this petal shape. It looks nice. And uh, now I want to uh, switch to the outline mode so I can see all of this intersection because. Uh, my primary aim right now is to create this incision like uh, using the triangle or in my case I'm using the polygon. Okay, so outline mode is located in the view, view mode, outline view. Now I have all of these intersections visible for me. I first can adjust the size of my leaf, you see, and um, grab the polygon tool. Create a polygon, narrow it down again, 
re rotated on guys for my illustration i'm gonna rotate it at something like 135 right so uh, my sides of my polygon and sides of my uh, chevron are almost parallel to the best of my abilities it shouldn't be like point to point line to line but to the best of my abilities i'm trying to do it parallel and i want to grab shift again and narrow it down again and maybe rotate it a little bit more towards the 135 right maybe a little bit more again now i have 132 okay it looks decent i want to just a little bit put it outside moving it to the bottom to the top left sorry uh okay uh, it's ready and then i want to leave the outline mode to see what is uh, going more uh, going on in my full view mode okay uh, so i'm ready to create the incision here select both of them and go to the subtract uh, boolean shape operator from this drop down uh, choose the subtract uh, if you don't like how it looks you can always uh, adjust the shape don't forget that uh, this is the live shapes so they have these abilities and because you're working with the you can use wow very nice very nice and nice this uh, shape effects and guy designer so uh, again i want to reposition a little bit my shape okay uh, so far so good i'm uh, think i uh, okay with this stuff Control shift p command shift p again to create this uh, leaf shape and now i want to use it as a my mask so select everything you can use Control a command a i'm cannot because i'm holding also these colors and use your right mouse button main menu or Control shift m command shift m on your mark to mask with shape now we have this um, a leaf uh, fill it with my, our chevrons and uh, i want to control t command t to, to bring up uh, two more duplicates so use it twice to bring up two more duplicates and i want to look at the middle duplicate not that bottom not the top but the middle one so with the top duplicate selected grab the rectangle tool click r and uh, hide the left half of your leaf select the top duplicate select the rectangle using shift and regular pointer tool and now we need to mask it again yes you can mask the mask object in gray designer it's possible so ctrl shift m command shift m on mask with the shape and now we can use just color adjust bring up this effect and push the slider to the left uh, i mean the brightness slider you see that again the word stuff ha happening because we didn't delete the fill on our mask now it looks uh, perfectly fine and here it fosters the flat shadow so-called flat shadow and one half of your uh, object is a little bit um, darker than the other half Uh, for me it's a little bit weird because the direction of the light, uh, light according to the uh, long shadow is supposed to be here right so <laughs> it's supposed to be lighter than this one guy but okay uh, this is the original uh, logo i recreated is from the original logo though um, i just notice it that uh, something goes wrong okay what do you think about this logo by the way guys i want to know your opinion just uh, drop a comment in the comments form below oh my god uh i'm running out of words uh damn so the mask is ready the colors are ready but they are not compatible with the svg effect so if you want to create something flat flatty in the gray designer that is compatible with the svg so 
some kind of uh, micro stocks, like some kind of icon stocks, like icon finder and something. If you want to sell it, then you need to convert it to the vector SVG compatible format. And uh, color adjust will rasterize your SVG. Uh, in order to prevent it, guys, just select these three guys or create the three circles and grab and copy what you have right now so you preserve the color harmony okay harmony okay the uh, using the ukrainian accent okay so remove the effect and now enter the mask and Rub the fields. Now you are perfectly vector compatible. Uh, go on. Let's move on, uh, guys. Uh, we need to create this uh, icon, rectangular icon, that covers exactly this uh, first uh, chevron inside the mask. And I want to put it on the bottom of my layer stack using Control Shift Down Arrow or Command Shift Down Arrow. Uh, so far, so good. And uh, let's not right now log the top uh, shape and use with the use this bottom duplicate and i want to disassemble it first so uh, ungroup the selection to delete the mask and to release the mask and delete these two guys on top leave the guy with the uh, on bottom and the mask shape as well and I want to intersect them with boolean shape operator. Intersect. So you see, right now I have only this option. Uh, I have the fill. It's on bottom. So it, you shouldn't be bothered with the fill itself. But you need to just apply the launch shadow effect. So go to the effects. More than shadow from this drop down and launch shadow. So, tear down the fade opacity, it will be teared down automatically when we select the other fill color. And I want to set it to 30, 30% and increase the length of this effect so it occupies and exceed a little bit the rectangle. And now go to the color, bring up the color picker. From this, bring up the drop down, uh, choose the line and gradient, select the fill color on the left, uh, the gradient point on the left, put it on the bottom to set it to 100% black. So we have the black on the left, black on the right, everywhere, uh, everywhere is black, but I want to select the black on the right and uh, decrease the opacity to zero. Uh, so far so good right now i want to go to the compound shape again and now i want to intrude the opacity as well so use the text field to decrease the opacity to 30. and now the uh, one of the amazing scenes of gravity designer before i introduce it to you i want to first grab the uh, subset tool and um, around the corners then I, pro I want to reposition the, this folder icon and uh, put it on the top of your compound shape so it covers both the shape and its effect. Select them both holding shift key and using your right mouse button key mask with the shape. Yes guys, you can mask the effects as well in Gravity Designer. And this is amazing. Okay, our snap seed or our flat logo is ready. We didn't use, as you can see, the pen tool in this tutorial. And this is how it's supposed to create the professional logo in the right designer. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, give a thumb up. If you have some questions, ask them in the comments below. Guys, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, thank you for following this video to the end, and again, enjoy 
your day.